Hi, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Different Gel. And at first I would like to go over the benefits that I want to share with you for whom it is suitable and an example skin routine, which covers the time of use and frequency guide as well. Then I want to lead into the application and then lastly I want to share with you the conflicts in case you want to use it along with other treatments, what you should avoid to avoid sensitivities and irritation. And as always you'll find the timestamps in the description box down below along with the example skin routines which you can save to your device. Now Differingen uses 0.1% of adapalene and this is a retinoid which is a form of vitamin A and it's primarily being used to treat acne as it helps to speed up the skin cell turnover which helps to unclog pores. This is great to reduce your active acne but at the same time prevents new one from forming so that it becomes less and less and less the more continuously you are going to use the treatment. It reduces inflammation and speeds up the fading process of dark spots after breakouts. Now at the same time it offers some anti-aging benefits too so the reduction in fine lines and wrinkles can also be visible. Now you can use your differentiate on all skin types once per day. This can be in the morning or evening. The way I recommend using it would be ideally in your evening skin routine and this is also the setup that I have prepared for you in an example skin routine to go over what treatments you can use or let's say what products you can use along with your differential treatment to make sure that everything works well when trying this out at all. Now I want to get started with the evening skin routine, which you can see right here. Now first of all it is important to properly wash your face using a non-exfoliating acid cleanser that's suitable for your skin type and needs. This could be an oil or balm cleanser on its own or you may want to do a double cleanse to properly break down your stubborn mineral sunscreen or waterproof makeup if you have worn this throughout the day. Otherwise you can just work ahead with your regular water-based cleanser. You can see some great examples right here. After that you're going to pat the skin dry and then move on to the application of your different gel and apply it evenly all over which I will demonstrate in a moment and then give it about one to two minutes to absorb into the skin and then follow on with a moisturizer that adds hydration to the skin but it's also suitable for your skin type and that it won't clog pores because again you want to prevent um, your pores from getting clogged again and you can see two great examples as well. Now below the example routines you can see the general guide of how you can use the individual products plus a frequency guide and this would be that you can use your different gel already immediately um, as a daily treatment in your evening skin routine. However, if you should have sensitive skin or you may not really know how your skin is going to respond to it because it's the first retinoid that you're going to try out, well then my suggestion would be start off by using it every other day for two to four weeks to this frequency for some time to see how your skin is going to respond to it and that your skin has the time to adjust to it and then if you can move up to your daily application and this way you can balance it out to also reduce any side effects like um, sensitivities, retinas, kind of like a sunburn feeling those are often associated with retinoids. Now for the morning skin routine, I want to keep it really really simple. I mean you can go with your usual morning skin routine. there isn't something wrong with it but I want to emphasize what's important to do in the morning and this is first of all again your cleansing step. I've picked the same cleanser as I've shared with you in the evening to keep things simple and then if you like to you can move on to your moisturizer but it's an optional step. If you do not uh, like to use a moisturizer in between like just skip it that's fine and then move on to your sunscreen application. This is the most essential step if you have sun exposure during the day because your um, differential makes the skin more sensitive to the sun therefore it is so crucial to properly protect your skin from any sun damage or in general also sunburn. Now if you're a person that likes to wear makeup remember to let your sunscreen set for 10 to 15 minutes and then move on to your makeup application. And there you have the setup of an example morning and evening skincare routine. Now that you know what the routine can look like, I want to recreate my example evening skincare routine to head into the application. Let's do this. 
Now we're going to get started with the first step, which is properly washing your face. Remember to use a mild non-exfoliating acid cleanser that's suitable for your skin type and adjust it based on what you're trying to take off the skin. Use, for example, an oil or balm cleanser if you're trying to remove your stubborn mineral sunscreen or waterproof makeup, usually needs to be applied to dry skin. If that's not the case, then use your regular cleanser that's suitable for your skin type, for example, CeraVe's Hydrating Cleanser if you have a drier skin type, or Cetaphil's Daily Facial Cleanser if you have an oilier skin type and then read on the back of the packaging how it needs to be applied usually on wet skin when it comes to your regular water-based cleanser now when using water use lukewarm water to warm water this would be ideal it helps the cleanser to work more effectively feels comfortable on the skin and the rinsing off part becomes much easier now cold water isn't wrong either but make sure to avoid hot water otherwise it may dry out your skin now as an example i'm going to use Cetaphil's daily facial cleanser so let's get started Then dispense about a coin size amount onto your palm of your hand or fingertips. Then rub your hands together and massage it evenly all over your face and neck, including around your eyes and your mouth. Just make sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. And do this for about 30 seconds. If you are trying to remove your sunscreen and or makeup, maybe up to a minute. Then rinse it off. Now when washing your face above the sink, you may have troubles to properly remove everything from the skin surface. This includes your cleanser, sunscreen, as well as makeup. In that case, I highly recommend using a clean washcloth, those microfiber cloths or makeup cloths, very gentle and soft on the skin. Wet them, squeeze them out, and then use it to remove those last traces. Now I recommend rinsing again. And then take your clean towel and gently pat all over to remove the excess water drops on the skin's surface to ensure proper layering and avoiding skin sensitivities. Once you're done with your cleansing step, you now can move on to the application of your differing gel. Now, first of all, dispense about a pea size amount onto your fingertips. About that much. Then rub your fingertips together and then blend it evenly all over your face, making sure not to get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. Please do not use it on top of your eyelids or lip and do not use it too close to the lower lash line or the corners of your eyes. Once you're done with the application, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. Now your differing gel should absorb quite quickly into the skin, still my general guide would be give it about 1-2 to two minutes to ensure that everything has properly absorbed into the skin before moving on to your next step. Now the next step is going to be the application of your moisturizer and I have two examples right here. CeraVe's moisturizing lotion if you have a drier skin type or for example the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors with Beta Glucan which is a gel type moisturizer for those that have an oilier skin type. Now I recommend using something hydrating because with your differing gel dryness can occur and therefore this way you can go ahead and balance it out and it can also ease some of the sensitivities which you may experience when just using it on its own. So you can go ahead and adjust your moisturizer accordingly to your skin type. Dispense about a pea to a bean size amount of moisturizer onto your fingertip. Rub your fingertips together and blend it evenly all over your face and neck. Once 
Once you're done with the application of your moisturizer, then this is the last step in your evening skincare routine. You're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. Now that you saw how you can use your differing gel in an evening skincare routine, how simple you can keep it, let's head into the conflicts. Now, in case you want to use your differing gel along with other skincare products, I highly recommend paying attention to the conflicts to avoid potential excessive dryness, sensitivities and irritation. Now, when I get started with salicylic acid or in other words, exfoliating acid cleansers, well, salicylic acid cleansers are the most common ones, but nonetheless, if you have such a product at home, do not use them in the same routine. Instead, use your salicylic acid cleanser in the morning and then your gentle non-exfoliating acid cleanser along with your differing gel in the evening. The next point would be exfoliating acid mask. And if you're new to your differing gel, please do not use it in the very beginning. Give your skin some time to adjust to your differing gel and then later on introduce it to your skin using it only once per week or less often and then you can continue on the other days with your differing gel. Still you may want to give your skin one or two days of a break before doing so. This of course depends on your skin tolerance. The same would apply to leave on exfoliating acid products like your toner or serum. Do not use them in the same routine. I do not suggest um, using it immediately when being new to your differing gel. Once the skin has adjusted you can go ahead and include it and adjust the frequency, but use them on alternate days, ideally in the evening. For example, you exfoliate on Monday, you differential on Tuesday, you exfoliate on Wednesday, etc. And then the last point, which is often quite confusing, would be do not use your differential along other retinols, retinals or retinoids. They all belong under the same category of vitamin A. So just choose one of them that you prefer the most. Do not use multiple formulations because it really can increase the risk of experiencing irritation. Now that would be it when it comes to the conflicts part and I do hope now that you enjoyed this video, that you get all that information that you need to know when getting started and trying this out at home. Remember, if you want to go over the example skincare routine in your own time plus the conflicts and what products I have picked plus the general skincare guide, it's all in a PowerPoint which you'll find in the description box down below and you can save it to your device. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and if you want to see more educational skincare care content check out the videos at the end of this video or head on to my youtube channel and i will see you there happy skin caring